Hello, welcome back to the Great Patriotic War. Last time, we were playing the air war portion of it, and I just realized that there's actually a command where you can show your all your air directives at once. It's Shift Y, and uh, it's this button up here, Show Air Directive Target, which is really nice at the end of a turn, just to make sure that you have everything covered that you think you have. Um, so I think I'll probably start using that a little bit more frequently at the end of turns just to make sure I'm actually flying the air superiority missions I think I'm flying. Um, overall, this turn has been, uh, I'm very nervous about it, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. I do think we need some more airports around Rostov. Because if you see all these airfields, like uh, this area here, I don't know if I had just recently built those or not. But if not, then I'm going to need to contest them, I think. I wish it says when it was constructed, like pre-game or post-game. But anyway, that's this is pretty much all ready to go. So I'm just going to click um, Execute Air Directives. Um, hold on, I'll zoom in so that it'll snap around to see the results. And I'll turn off the annoying stuff. Execute error directives. Some serious operational losses. Lost some to flak. More operational. More flak. So it seems like the yet again the, the Nazis are not contesting the skies. At least on our turn. Alright, let's see our success. Um, overall most of our losses came looks like in this Viasma. Uh well those six six raids, so that's um Kind of to be expected. This was one of our long range raids. And these were just uh, strategic bombers. Well, level bombers, we should say. We don't really have strategic bombers, so to speak. Uh, but these were strategic type missions where we're going out and trying to destroy things. Um, so we apparently were able to do some serious damage damage plus 17 18 and plus one for the interdiction so I think that pretty much wrecked that railway uh, we didn't get a lot of interdiction um, results unfortunately I don't, I don't know why that is but um, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes and then in this one <laughs> we killed four guys must have been a lucky bomb. But we didn't lose as many from that one. Okay, so that's... Well, I think that was a pretty important attack to make because that's, that's going to keep the frontline units out of supply for a little bit longer. Which will give us longer so that we can make our response. It's really unfortunate that they didn't send anything this way because these units were fully fortified up, ready to fight, and they're just going to be sitting there. Uh, oh well. Alright, so now we're on the ground turn, and like most turns, I'll start from the north. I don't know why I like starting from the north, I guess it just makes sense to me, but... The important thing here is to kind of reinforce this line if we can. And also, you know, perhaps pull some people off the line here as needed. I'm going to turn off the logistics stuff for a second. Just trying to clean it up a little bit. All right, 
So I think the, the big struggle last couple of turns has been keeping our fronts under their limit. It took a long time to get <laughs> just the northwestern front to 71. But I'm hoping that with a couple more changes we can get down. Now, this is already at 68 now. That's unfortunate. It's just, it's very hard to manage these fronts when they're so close to each other in terms of uh, their limits. Like, it's not like I have one empty one right now. Well, I guess, is this considered a front? I think this is considered an army, so that doesn't really help. I guess let's just look at what fronts we have. that have relatively high limits and that are on the box. Just in case we have to dump some uh, organization into something. All right, and then we will s filter out everything except for fronts. So we've got 17 total fronts, but we actually only have 10 on the map. This guy's still four over his limit. The southern front. And Leningrad front is one over the limit. That's not good. We could start making use of this North, North Caucasus um, military district. This one's led by Kroponis, who has done nothing but betray us so far, so <laughs> not sure about him. But uh, he's definitely, at least I chose him. <laughs> he's pr better than the what they started with. I, I, I remember there was one guy who was just a total, total failure. I just can't remember where he was. Got some aggressive Hungarians there. Unusual. I bet I could knock them back. I mean, not with these guys, but if I had real units, I could knock them back. No problem. All right. Uh, Enough stalling. Let's make some moves. Are these guys dug in? Not really. It's not like they have combat prep points anyways. I could just throw them in there like the conscripts that they are. What is this throwing up? Eight? That's not great. If I could put them on reserve, I would, yeah. Wonder no, I can't get around there. I wonder if I can with this unit though. Yeah, I think I can. It's a zero though. I mean they are getting supply from this, so it's not like cutting off this particular road would would make a difference. All right, let's get these guys off the train. And we will put the 
lower combat prep one on there, and the higher combat prep one I guess we maybe march them up to here. Not sure. We could stack them on this. Now we just have to figure out how to organize that. Because we don't really have the, the limit on the Leningrad front. Thinking that we're gonna have to reassign something to Stavka that's up here. Perhaps this coastal fort. I think we'll assign this to Stavka. That would free up points. We can reassign the Leningrad front and this guy to Stavka as well. Further freeing us up. don't think I really need this guy up on the front. He's just an army commander. Why is this going direct to the Leningrad front? I don't know. Let's march them over here. We'll figure out what to do with them in a minute. So those guys are both on reserve. That's that's pretty good. I mean, this cavalry division did not get any supply. He's on the 32nd army, which is way back here. This guy hasn't really had combat yet, so that's probably why he's still pretty high strength. This is some of these cavalry divisions have already been in multiple battles. 242nd rifle division has been in six battles already. Oh my god. They are absolute veterans. But of course, like if you look at their uh, veterancy, they're probably not even considered veterans. I don't even see that. I know it's a, um, a soft filter. Well, I guess this area is a little bit more veteran. We've got some yellows here. Of course, they're going against the 8th Panzer Division, which apparently is like ultra elite. So they are relatively good for Soviets, but they're bumbling idiots for Germans. I wonder where my most veterans units are. I mean, I would assume on the northern front they've, they've done the most fighting. The northwestern front, I should say. So I would, I would assume that's where we have the best best units. Yeah, I think that those... Those divisions are literally the highest experience units we have. That's a sad statement. And they're probably going to get destroyed this turn. <laughs> Hate to see it. Um, I just want to turn the counter on to fatigue. 
because we do have some really low fatigue units in general on this in this front but the high fatigue ones like the 29th cavalry division here who's been whipped twice I'm kind of thinking that he just needs to get pulled off the line and get a chance to revitalize himself maybe that's what I'll do maybe I'll pull him back to here somewhere nice and safe And we could stick them on refit. I think this 32nd Army could actually support this NKVD division. Because he's only at 18. Puts him up to 20. I would really like to get this 115th Rifles and 168th rifles onto someone who's a real commander. Just so they don't fall out of supply completely here. Let's take these guys off the train. And we need to start reinforcing the back line here. This was refit quite effectively. Very nice. So they can go back on the line. This is already three stacked. Maybe they'll refit the 181st rifles. these 180th rifles are pretty strong but the 182nd are much much weaker so they could actually use a refit as well The 8th Army is just in such a weird spot. I would like them to have a smaller portion of the line. But at the same time, they need to have a good amount of the line because they are still kind of strong. They haven't done much fighting. All right, we'll do it like that, I guess. This is a fort level one, so. All right, where is the Eighth Army HQ? Oh, there it is. Is this a depot? It is, okay. Just make it sure. The second rifle division is probably ready to go back to battle pretty soon. They just need some combat prep. They have men now. So we could stick them here. Uh, whatever. That's fine.
Yeah, I would ideally like to get this this thing a little bit of a fort level. This is 28%. Why can this not move very far still? Yeah, I'm still kind of tempted to just drive them on a train down to here, but I also don't really want to use up that much capacity. How much capacity would they take? 99. Uh, that's 99 tons of freight that we could have for something more useful. Whatever, we'll just keep driving, I guess. They're almost in supply now. All right, we could get this guy off the train, put him on refit. I'm just scared that they're going to punch right through me this turn. I haven't really had enough time to get what I want into the area. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. They, I think I could finagle it here so that we're at least throwing up s a little bit more. But... I mean, you got some really bad divisions here that are really effed up. Kind of need to get pulled off the line. Like, these two divisions realistically should not be on the line. They've been fighting for a long time. He's been in seven battles. He's only been in one, but he got smashed in that one. So they're not going to do much good here. I think we're just going to march him back. Do the lower one first. What are the... So there's a river to the east, southeast, and southwest, but not to the west. So I don't think it makes sense to keep him... Keep him there. It's not like that's doing anything for us. I'd rather have them up here, honestly. At least that's putting up a three now. These guys are both decimals, so that rounds down for whatever reason. I guess it's not quite a two, it's like a one point one point eight. But the graphics round it down. It makes it look like you're you're lower than you actually are sometimes. And this then this one rounds you up. Like this guy is not even worth an entire point. It's kind of splitting hairs here, but all right, I think.
think we want the cavalry unit to refit now. This guy can, might as well actually do some stuff, but why does this guy not have engineers available? What is going on here? He has no engineers. Get the man some engineers. Oh, he was at three. That's why he got stuff taken away from him. Uh, that was obnoxious. Totally my fault. Make sure this guy's locked. This guy should be locked. Because now he has no artillery. Uh, not that he really needs it. I'm hoping he's not going to be in combat. Hopefully they don't hit that part of the line, but still. We don't have a lot of artillery to spare, unfortunately. But they should at least have construction units. Because that's what this area of the line is all about. Building fortifications. Twenty eighth army has nothing as well. Oh my goodness. They definitely need artillery. Oh, we're just so low on artillery. I sent back a lot of the really messed up artillery to the pool. Or to the reserve rather. But this this army in particular needs it because they're facing a crazy amount of enemy units. Honestly, they could use an anti-tank unit too, but I have no idea where that is. Who is stealing all this stuff? What do I have on support priority that's not? All right, let's change you. Oh, you can't lock them from here. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. We only care about ones that are on the map. Okay, so this one is locked. Oh, wait, was I looking at supply priority? I want to look at support priority. It's not, not on this report. It's on this HQ report. Take off my filters. Oh my god, that's this thing has three. And he has He's not even fighting. Ridiculous. Give all this stuff to someone who actually needs it.
Alright, so now the 32nd army should have plenty of stuff. Klaikov is not a great commander, I will admit that, but he's been doing okay, I guess. But it'll do better when he has stuff. Alright. Oops. Press D, not C. Alright, who else has been stealing? Not too many, actually. 34th Army has an absurd amount of stuff for what they're doing. Let's lock them up. And for this reserve army, the people who need it are over here. 22nd Army and I guess the... Uh, I think it's mostly 22nd Army, to be honest. They're under the most threat. Who's this guy going to 48th Army? 48th and 11th Armies. They need the most stuff, but I think the 11th Army is pretty well provisioned. Yeah. So it's really the 42nd, or 48th and 22nd that need all that stuff from the 34th Army. Why is it not showing up? Are they out of range? They're definitely under the same commander. That's weird. Alright, I guess plan B here is to just move everything to the reserve front and then to reassign it from there. I also want to send some of these back to Stavka. That's, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. Yeah, I kind of want to send most of those down to the south. Or I'll even just assign them to the southern front. <laughs> Got paranoid. I was watching my APs just to make sure I didn't accidentally reassign something that would cost money. Move up all the well. I move up some of the sappers. They can keep three. We've got plenty of those. But the machine guns, we want those somewhere more useful. Honestly, I want them. I want them on that front line there. That's definitely going to see combat. Just wonder what the hell happened to all of those. Machine gun battalions. Apparently they all got sucked up by like two divisions. Two fronts. Give a little bit down to the southern front too. Alright. So that means the 28th Army should be able to steal some of that stuff. Apparently not till next turn. Son of a bitch. Alright, what about you? You steal anything? Yes, you can get some anti-tank guns. Give you a couple engineers. I don't really need the machine gun yet. And actually, I think for that machine gun, I might reassign it again next turn. Sixteenth Army is also on three. God damn.
keep, uh, well, they can keep the construction units, I guess. I don't want them to have any any of these machine guns, though. Oh, my God. I don't need that. Just kind of spread them around. I'll send all the MGs down to the Brionsk front. Just because they're going to be fighting so, so much in the next few turns. So they need a, the bulk of their artillery and the um, machine guns. I have a feeling that they're going to be under heavy, heavy pressure for the next like five turns. such a pain in the ass to have to manually reassign all these, but They even have a light tank battalion. Bastards. Stole everything. Uh, I'm going to regret. I shouldn't have moved that up north. I should have moved that to the, the plains. To the Ukraine. I think I can't really fix most of that for another turn or two, but that's okay. At least this is a little bit more balanced now. That's locked. Make sure everyone is locked. The other thing I could do is um, reassign some units from, what's this purple front? Oh no, this is a purple army, not a, oh, it is the Bryansk front. Why is this going to Bryansk? I'm pretty sure that, that, that there's room under the western front. The Browns front is just about full. What's the western front at? 50. Why did this get changed to the Browns front? I must have done that accidentally this turn. Did not mean to do that. God damn it. I was clicking on so many things. I must have just lost track. This probably was going to the reserve front before, but... Whoops. That's the one undo button I wish that they actually had in this game. This Fiasma is supposed to be a four. Zero fours. Four, four, four. Why is this a two? Should be a four.
really want to get that rail yard back in action. It's been damaged for like two or three turns now. Don't know what the holdup is. Does the 49th Army have AA? It does not. Let's uh, make sure that it has some AA. If it's weak AA, it's better than no AA. Getting so jealous seeing everyone pop up playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I do kind of want to play that game. Not for YouTube, though. I do like some D&D, &D, though. Oh, that's interesting. This rail is exposed here. Wonder if they'll take that. Probably. <laughs> I would take it. The AI might not. We do at some point need to set up a city fort in Moscow just so it doesn't get accidentally taken. I mean, there's a lot of places that could accidentally get taken. That would be devastating. Turn this guy off for supply priority. He doesn't need supply. Doesn't have any units. We could get this over to the reserve front. That frees up a little bit of space on the northwestern front, which desperately needs space. Fortunately, the 27th Army is pretty much full. This coastal army here does have a spot. Wonder if I move back here. Yeah. And then I'll make this a depot. that way this can kind of have stuff go through it. Something that's going right to the northwestern front is also a rifle division, rifle regiment. Move them over here. Just so they're actually in command range. I'm trying to think if I could give give this stuff over, free up some slots in the Leningrad front, and then I could assign those divisions. Oh, got to remember what army I want him. I want him on the coastal op army. I 
think that's going to be perfect. Yeah. And then we could assign. Let's just double check the line grid front. They're at 65. Northwestern front is at 71. Okay. Oh, now the issue is I don't have a commander with space. Huh, that's a that's a more difficult problem to solve. Cause like yes, I could assign this to Leningrad front, but it doesn't do a whole lot of good. If I don't have a general with space. I need to get this Neva group into play here. Just worried that that's going to kick me over my limit immediately. Because I think it's six just for a uh, army, if I remember right. Maybe I don't want to play with that. Maybe I could do something where, this is where the German organizational structure works a lot better because you have cores. And you could just move around a core a lot easier than moving around an entire army. Because armies cost a lot more AP or command points. Also, I'm pretty sure that Konakov is not that good. Yeah, he's, he's awful, so he's not even really all that usable. Not, not that Klykov is particularly amazing, but he's better. I didn't realize this Kuznetsov is so bad. But he's strong politically, so he's very difficult to replace. And Popov is a little bit better, but not by much. I don't know. I'm just kind of stuck here. Not sure what to do. Wish I had a slightly higher limit. That's that's all I know. All right, I'll just leave it like this for this turn. Somebody will die or or whatnot, and then. Then we'll figure it out. I could also, I guess I could put this 32nd Army direct to, or this 29th Cavalry Division direct to the front. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll put the Cavalry Division direct to the front, and then next turn I can walk it up to refit in the city instead of down here. Uh, what a pain. So now let's see if this can go up to the 32nd army. I think it can. Oh, 
What about you? No. No chance. Could go to Luga, though. I'd rather have the one on the front go to Luga, though. Yeah, and then that way maybe he'll commit that. Commit that unit next turn. I don't really need this fortified unit to be here on the Leningrad front anymore. Could go up to Stavka. The most obnoxious thing in this place is the the double city fort. Because it has a coastal artillery battery and a fortress. So you really have to stick things in the fortress if you want to refit them, I guess. All right, so I think the northern front is, or the Leningrad and northwestern fronts are pretty, pretty much as good as they can get right now. What I do want to do is see if I can kind of rearrange these troops. Why is this on refit? Oh, it's like refit or unready. Those are the only two options I have. Can we move the front back? I'm trying to desperately refit all my units and the front has nowhere to sit. Could sit the front up here and put in another depot. That's uh, maybe that's what I should do. Just make this a depot. Oh, well, I guess it needs to be a four as well. Okay, so now I can refit this guy. I'll give him to the 48th Army, though. So hopefully we get two units that are actually ready to fight. It does seem like they're coming for this spot here. This is also in refit. Got the 48th Army as well. They might be able to break through that pretty easily. Let's just shuffle up the line a little bit. I think we'll leave it like this. If they come into this area, they're gonna get bogged down really quick. And we could actually kind of fight back a little bit. I almost wanna leave that gap, bait him in and then encircle something. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's check out the central front here. I don't think I don't think we had too many concerns last time because they really just stopped pushing in that direction. It's really down here that I'm worried about. Why is this still showing? Uh, that's weird. 
Must have been a visual glitch. I think I'll do what I normally do, split off the each big section of the line into a separate video. And so with that, I will end it here. Till next time. See ya.